Java has a random number generation class called random. This class is used to generate a stream of pseudorandom numbers. There are a couple of ways to code a random number. We will go over a couple of standard Java ways, and then with streams, we will code a Java 8 way. I'll also show an example of math.random as well. We will go over the most common method for generating random numbers, next int. In the documentation, it shows we need an integer for the parameter, which gives us the upper range for the random number. It will give us a number between 0, inclusive, and the upper range, exclusive. What this means is if we pass in 10, we will actually only retrieve numbers from 0 to 9 and not 10. In order to get the numbers from 1 to 10, which is our intention, we can add 1 to the method like this. If we want to return a random number within a range, we create a method that passes in an upper and lower range, and then add the lower range like this. This will be 10 minus 3, so 7 as the bound, but then we add 3, so the range is going to be between 3 and 10, exclusive, meaning we'll only get numbers from 3 to 9. Java 8 introduced streams, which we won't really get into here, but a method like this, which is shown in the documentation, that allows us to print a stream of pseudo-random numbers. You'll notice that this is a void method. We don't have to return anything because within this stream, we can sort them and print them out. I'll have a video on this later. As Java says, using math.random is simpler. The reason is because it doesn't actually take any parameters for the method itself, because the method itself will return a double between 0, 0.0 and 1.0. So how do we get a random integer? Well, like here, we do math.random times an upper minus a lower range plus the lower range. This is similar to the get random number in range we showed earlier. Now, as I said, this is supposed to return a double. So in order to return an int, we simply cast it.